Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. My name is Katarina. I was supposed to rank my nail polish collection in the beginning of the year but then I kind of forgot about it but I wanted to do it before I finish my first nail polish of the year so I will be ranking my nail polishes from my least favorite to my favorite I have all of my nail polishes swatched to these nail polish swatching sticks, whatever you call them. I will say I'm not that much of a nail person. I do my nails and I like to use different colored nail polishes, but I always like to keep my nails relatively short because I just find shorter nails are more practical and I do work with my hands, so that's another reason my nails are just not in the best condition and they just don't grow that much. I do have 21 nail polishes and I did purchase one new this year, however I have not used it yet. So because of that I'm not going to include that in, but all of these that I'm going to rank I have owned for a while and I have used all of them. Last year I rotated through my nail polish collection in my nail polish roulette, so I will also show you pictures of all of these nail polishes. But let's just get into ranking these. The last spot sadly goes to this Mineral Fusion Nail Lacquer in the side Lagoon. This one is a beautiful turquoise color, but it's ranked the last for a couple of reasons. All of my greens and blues are ranked at the bottom of my ranking just because I don't find them that wearable. I oftentimes feel they can clash with a lot of different things and nail polish is always something that I do have it on my nails for several days, not just for one day and that's why I usually prefer more classic nail polish colors as well as neutral colors. However, the reason why this one is ranked at the bottom is that I don't like the finish of this. From all of my nail polishes, this one is the only one that has a matte finish to it. Now, in the picture that I'm showing to you of these nail polishes, you cannot really see how matte it is because I do have a glossy top coat over it. However, I will show you how it swatches without a top coat. So. Hopefully you can see from there that it actually is quite matte. And I really prefer my nail polish being like really glossy and juicy. The second to last nail polish on my ranking is actually the nail polish I'm wearing today. This one is the Essence the Gel Nail Polish in the shade Jeans On. Essence has now discontinued this the gel nail polish line, but they have replaced it with their Shine Last Go nail polish line, I think it's called. I don't know, however, if they do have this specific color on that line. So this color is this muted medium blue and I just don't really like it. So I have been wearing it quite a bit recently because it is in my project polish. I'm trying to use it up. I think there is only one color of blue that I would actually want to have as a nail polish and that is a navy because navy is such a classic color. So a navy nail polish is actually on my wish list, but other than that, I just really don't love blue nail polish and because this one is so muted and kind of like dull, I just don't really like it. Okay, so next is another one of my Essence the Gel Nail Polishes. This one and the blue one are the only ones I have left. I have panned so many of these. These are actually quite easy to pan, I feel, because the formula always takes a couple of layers and the bottle is small. Anyways, this color is called Pretty Cool Life and I absolutely do love this color. This is such a beautiful antique light green. However, again, green nail polish like this I just don't get that much wear out of because I need to always commit to having the nail polish on my nails for several days. So if I wanted to go for something like green on my look, I would way rather wear like a green top because I don't need to wear the same green top the next day or then wear green eyeshadow, for example. Oh yeah, and this one also is in my project polish. I'm trying to finish it this year. All right, next is another nail polish that is on my project polish. This one is from Pacifica. It is their 7 free nail lacquer and this one is in the set Immortal. I absolutely do love this color and if this one was a better formula, this one would be ranked way higher where it is right now. However, unfortunately, this formula is not good. 
This one is not fully opaque even with three coats and I don't really care if it is 7 free or whatever free if it doesn't perform better than this because if I need to do that many layers of nail polish, four or even more, I will have so many coats of stuff on my nails that it just looks thick and ugly. But then the issue is that it's not really sheer. You cannot just do like one layer and have kind of like your nails but better sort of peachy look going on. I mean, I wish it was like that rather, but this one is just really patchy with one or two layers. So that's why it's ranked this low. However, the color itself is really beautiful. And once I have finished this, I think I'm going to replace it with a similar color. Okay, so next is my least favorite nail polish from Color Club. This one is their Nail Lacure in the set Don't Steal My Thunder. I have recently, like within the past year or so, bought some nail polishes from Color Club and I really do enjoy them. This one is just my least favorite color. I just think it's maybe a little bit too bright. It is quite similar to the previous Pacifica one, with the exception that this one is clearly brighter. I can show you the difference. So I way prefer the color of the Pacifica one. I do think it's kind of like more wearable and not that bright. But since the Pacifica one is so poor formula, I cannot rank this one lower than that. I do think this is a beautiful nail polish and it does have a beautiful pearly finish. I don't think I have any other nail polishes with similar finish to them, but it's just a little bit too bright and I really feel it's mainly like spring and summertime sort of thing. Okay, so next is my least favorite nail polish from A England. I do really enjoy A England. I do have three of their nail polishes. This one is just not my favorite color. It is their nail polish in the set Elaine. And this one is a deep, more cooler toned plum. And I have actually been wearing this quite a bit recently because I have been trying to get more use out of the set Candied Violet from the Chocolate Bar palette. And I have been topping this nail polish with that eyeshadow and that's how I have been able to get wear out of that. But yeah, I do really love deep nail polishes. Usually I just prefer something a little bit warmer. And I actually do have a nail polish layer that is pretty much the same thing that this one. It is just a little bit warmer and usually my preference just leans a little bit more on the warm side so I will later show you a comparison how they look side by side but yeah because I do have a vampy nail polish in a little bit warmer color that I love more than this this one is not something that I feel is stable in my collection and that is why it's ranked this low. Okay, so those were the bottom six nail polishes and something I forgot to say before I started is that the top six and the bottom six were actually really easy for me to pick and rank. I knew right away that these are favorites and these are the ones that I don't enjoy. But the next ones, the ones in the middle, were so difficult and even if I filmed this video again tomorrow, I might choose differently because all of them are something that I liked, but they are not favorites. Let's get to the difficult middle ground. So the next nail polish is the last nail polish actually in my project polish. This one is the Catrice Ivonel's Gel Lacquer in the set for the very first time. I really didn't reach for a berry nail polish a lot before I put this one into my project polish for this year. That is why I wanted to pan it. I just thought it's not a staple in my collection and it's not something I get that much use out of. However, I will say that I have started appreciating this quite a bit now that I have been using it just a little bit more. I think it is a really, really beautiful color, especially with makeup looks where I do have something very going on, either on my lips or on my eyes. I do think it is kind of like a classic color. I do have also a little bit different variation of berry, so I do think berry totally is a nail color that I only need one variation of it to my collection at once. And something I want to say is that I really do enjoy this Catrice Nail 
polishes they are really affordable and they are really good usually i can get even application with two coats and they do have a nice shade selection so let's talk about the another sort of berry nail polish i have this one is my another nail polish from a england this one is called briar rose so this is like a berry sort of nail polish with some shimmer to it and the shimmers have all different colors First, I wasn't necessarily the biggest fan of this, but last year I started appreciating it more when it was in my nail polish roulette. Then I was kind of like thinking which one of my berries I would want to pan, the A England one or the Catrice one, and I was going back and forth. I even filmed a project polish introduction where I introduced this nail polish, but then I changed my mind and I never posted that video and I filmed a new one with this one on my project. So yeah, I think I like the A England one just a little bit more because this is actually really unique. Okay, so next is the Essence Color and Care Strengthening Nail Polish in the set Take a Break. Essence don't have this one available anymore, but I do really enjoy this nail polish. It is a beautiful, kind of like off-white. I do think a color like this is super fun, especially for spring and summer time, but at the same time, it is a really seasonal color. I couldn't see myself wearing a nail color like this other than in spring or summer. So that's why I cannot really rank it any higher. Maybe sometimes a nail color like this may make my hands look like a little bit washed out. So maybe it looks a little bit better if I do have some tan going on. I probably will put this into my project polish next year because I'm already halfway through the bottle and it is one of my oldest nail polishes. But I'm not sure if after finishing this I would replace it with anything quite similar. Next is another nail polish from Color Club. This one is their nail lacquer in the set Piece of Cake and this one is from their The New Rules of Engagement collection and in fact I purchased this nail polish for a couple of reasons. First of all I wanted a color like this but also I wrote a wedding blog when my husband and I got married back in 2014 and my wedding block was called piece of wedding cake so this felt so personal to me so I had to get it because of that obviously it was also a color I liked I expected to maybe love this little bit more than I do but I don't think it's the nail polish's fault I think it's my fault and my nails fault this one is a really sheer nail polish with some slight shimmer to it so it truly is like your nails but better sort of thing. However, my nails, as I said, are not the nicest looking always. This one doesn't really hide it at all. So it just doesn't always look the best with my nails. But a really beautiful color anyways that I'm happy to have in my collection. Alright, so next is one of my red nail polishes. This one is from Catrice and it is their Igonels Gel Lacure It is said Bloody Mary to Go. I absolutely do love this name, although I believe this nail polish refers to the drink Bloody Mary. I don't drink, so I don't really care about that, but for me, Bloody Mary always reminds me of the urban legend and I'm really much into urban legends and paranormal and all of that kind of stuff. This one is a really bright and fiery red. It's not still too warm, I would say. Like it doesn't really lean orange by any means, but it is a really, really bright red. The reason why this one is not ranked higher is that I do have my favorite red ranked way higher, which is more like a classic sort of red. This one I feel is either really summery or then really Christmassy. But either way, I do love red nail polish, no matter if it is like bright red or dark red. Next is my only metallic nail polish. This one is also from the Catrice Icon Nails Gel Lacquer line. I really do love this line and they do have different finishes too. It's not only about those glossy finishes. I will say, in general, I'm not at all a fan of metallic nail polishes. I feel metallic nail polishes are exactly something that if you do have imperfections going on on your nails, the metallic finish, especially when dealing with light colors, might emphasize those. However, this one is a little bit deeper color, so it is this beautiful, beautiful copper, so I don't feel 
it's that bad with this nail polish but I really do love this color and I do think this is a really unique nail polish to my collection but the reason why it's not a favorite is that this one is also something really seasonal a color like this I really wouldn't wear other than in summer and fall so because it's not something I could get use out of throughout the entire year and it's not something super classic I don't consider it being a favorite but it's still a really beautiful nail polish that I do really enjoy and same actually goes to this next one this is also from Catherine but this is from their brown collection that was a limited edition collection a while back it is called unmistakable style I absolutely do love this nail polish this is so gorgeous it is one of my most beautiful nail polishes just when I look at the color it is this beautiful dark chocolatey brown with some kind of like bronzy shimmers to it. However, again, a really, really seasonal sort of nail polish that honestly I couldn't see myself getting use out of other than during fall time. So because of that, I don't feel I can quite rank it any higher, but I do really enjoy it. I'm happy to have it in my collection. Okay, so next is a nail polish from Berry M. This is my only nail polish I will be ranking, but as I said in the beginning of the video, I purchased one nail polish earlier this year, and that one actually is from Berry M. It's just not part of the ranking because I have not used it yet. But the one that I will rank here is their Molten Metal Nail Paint in the said Pink Eyes. This one is a really beautiful shimmery, kind of like a little bit more cool toned neutral rose gold. Really, really stunning color. And I do love this because the shimmers are not really chunky. It's kind of like a really fine sort of shimmer, but it's still really fun looking on my nails. The only thing with shimmer nail polishes like this is that they can be a little bit more annoying to remove. That being said, a stunning color that would go with any outfit or any makeup look or anything. And next is actually a really similar nail polish from Catrice. This is again from Terra Iconels line and this one is called Let's Get Ready for Bronze. In fact, I do think I love both of these nail polishes as much. Like, I, I cannot say that one is better than another one. They are really similar what comes to formula and how they look on my nails. One of them is just slightly warmer and one of them is just slightly cooler. So this one over here is the Berry M one, this one is the Catrice one. But they are really really similar. I do think they look now, at least on the viewfinder, quite a bit reflective. But they are not crazy by any means. They don't look metallic or anything. It's just this beautiful shimmer finish. Okay, so we do have now my top six left and these nail polishes I absolutely love. As I said, it was really easy for me to pick the top six. You could like take the other nail polishes and I would be totally fine with only these six. Next is my favorite vampy nail polish. I already kind of mentioned this when I was talking about the A England nail polish. This one is the Catrice Iconails Gel Lacure in the set Red Midnight Mystery. And this one is the most perfect deeper burgundy sort of nail polish. Absolutely do love this. And now I do want to share with you the comparison of the A England one and the Catrice one. This is the A England, this is the Catrice. So as you can see, they look pretty much the same. One of them is just slightly more cool toned, one of them is warmer. It's a staple in my collection. It's a classic color, I feel like, and even though it's bold, I do think it's quite wearable. I do think this is maybe a little bit more seasonal. I would mainly wear it towards the end of summer, during fall time and during winter. Not necessarily so much in spring and early summer. However, I don't consider this one being quite 
as seasonal as the nail polish from the brown collection, for example. That is like clearly a fall nail polish to me. Okay, so next is my favorite cool toned nail polish. I know I often say that I'm not necessarily the biggest fan of cool tones, but I actually do really love cool tones. I just feel I am way more picky about cool tones than about warm tones. But this one I absolutely love. It is from Color Club and it is from their Cabin Fever collection at this one is called Take It or Leave It and this one is the most perfect light kind of like mauve cooler toned pink nail polish. Honestly if I had this nail polish I don't need another cool toned nail polish. It's so pretty. Unfortunately I haven't worn it too much now. This is exactly something I would be a lot into during winter and springtime. However I have been doing my project polish and I have tried to focus on those nail polishes so that's why I have not worn these that much but this is a stunning nail polish. Okay so this pot number four goes to the Essence Shine Last Go nail polish in the shade On Air and this one they actually had in their the gel nail polish line and I finished mine and this one is a gold glitter nail polish. Now as I have been talking I usually don't love a shimmer nail polish quite that much just because it is a pain to remove. Same goes to glitter nail polish and that's the reason why I don't want to have really more than one or two glitter nail polishes in my collection. This one is a beautiful gold one but I really do love this because it's not too warm sort of gold and it's not chunky at all so it's a really classic sort of color. I also would love to add a silver glitter nail polish with like fine glitter in it to my collection but I haven't found one yet but if I run across one I'm probably going to add one to my collection. Glitter nail polish is something that I don't wear it on its own. I just usually use it on the tips of my nails and most often since I am a little bit lazy on the tip of my ring finger I just think that instantly adds kind of like a little finishing touch to your look. Alright, so we do have my top three left and I almost will say that I do love all of these equally, but I just had to like rank them somehow. But these are all favorites. If I lost all of my nail polishes today, these three are the ones I would replace right away. Not necessarily the same exact like nail polishes, because a couple of these are not that easy for me to get, but the colors I would replace right away. Number three is my favorite nail polish from A England. This one is their nail lacquer in the shade Camelot and this is a black. I just love black nail polish. It is so cool, it is so edgy, but still it is somehow kind of like more sophisticated and classic sort of color. And I actually did pan one black nail polish from China Glaze and those bottles are also huge. In general I will say black is one of my favorite colors. Not necessarily in makeup because in makeup it is such a strong color but in clothing like black is definitely my favorite. Like I could honestly live with all black wardrobe if I had to. Alright, so next is my favorite nail polish from Color Club, although I also do love to take it or leave it so much, but this one is my perfect nude. So this is the Color Club nail lacquer in the shade Nothing But A Smile, and this is just the most perfect neutral nude nail polish. Nothing more to say, I just love this, and it's something that goes with everything. And then my favorite nail polish, even though all of these like top three are my absolute favorites. This one is my favorite nail polish from Catrice. It is again from their Iconels Gel Lacquer line and this one is called Caught on the Red Carpet. And this is my perfect red nail polish. This one has a little bit more depth to it than the Bloody Mary to Go one. And I will actually show them to you side by side so that you can see. So there you can see the difference. This one is the Bloody Mary to Go and this one is the Caught on the Red Carpet. So both of them I would say are blue based reds but because the coat on the red carpet has a little bit more depth to it I do think it is a little bit more classic 
and a little bit more wearable throughout the entire year than the Bloody Mary to go one that is like really Christmassy or summery. And if you have been watching my channel, you also know that I do love red lipstick over any other lipstick color. So yeah, it's just like my favorite color in general, red and black. So for example, when my husband and I got married, I was wearing red lipstick, we had red roses and all of that. That is everything for today. Those are where all of my nail polish is ranked. I know this was a really, really long video, so thank you if you did watch it all the way through. Let me know what is your favorite nail polish color. Thanks for watching and see you on my next one. Bye bye.